when you walk away, my heart drops to the floor. They said it would get easier, but I don't know who for. Days move fast, and now I swear I can feel them slip away. But some things last forever. Hi everyone, welcome back to Jessie at Home. In today's video, I have much needed cleaning motivation starting out in my living room. As you can see, Malcolm's Easter gift is spread all over the floor, a ton of blankets everywhere. Um, and then we actually go outside to do some projects, which I'm super excited about. But these little cards are actually really neat. It comes with a little card reader. You stick the card in the card reader and it will tell you what's on the card. And then like if it's an animal, it'll like sit, do the little animal sounds and stuff. Super impressed. Um, that was part of his little Easter basket that I got him um, off of Amazon. Uh, just trying to like stimulate more um, like language with him. We do sign language with Malcolm. He is not much of a talker which is okay we did have him ex assessed at 18 months but they said that he was on the right track and um you know if i'm still worried at two then we can always reassess um at two and he'll be two in july so anything i can do to kind of stimulate um the language and 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 trying to get him a little bit more verbal you know i'm all for but he really really enjoyed those little cards um he likes flashcards anyway um he just likes looking at the pictures he loves books he loves when we read to him so this was a nice little gift for him for easter oh it sounds cliche the blanket of this history covers me today and so I had big plans on lining these curtains. So I'm taking these curtains down. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessie. I like to do a lot of like rearranging in my house, redecorating. Um, I just recently put these curtains up. I had them in my dining room previously. Um, and I had white blackout curtains in here because we really need like more like blackout lining in here but they kind of got messed up in the washing machine so i ordered now i know i can just go to the store and get some fabric but i ordered um really thick um curtain lining but i i i always do this i messed up the sizing so as you can see here i'm figuring out that oh no i got the wrong size i'm gonna end up returning these um and then I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do. But I also got some curtain rings as well. So, you know, not total loss. I'm just not gonna be lining the curtains in this video. I was gonna be doing that, but I made a boo-boo with the measurements and one of the panels barely covered half of the curtain. Like, I'm like, whose skinny curtains does this fit? Cause it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, I should have got the bigger size. Um, panels, but I'm going to be sending them back to Amazon. They were really good quality. I liked how thick it was and it was like double lined. I definitely think it would have helped um, black out uh, these curtains that I have that I love that I think are so pretty, but these particular set, it's not going to work. So I'm going to send them back, but I'm going to put curtain rings on so they slide a little bit easier on the curtain rod when we're opening and closing.
A couple of videos back, I like redecorated these little shelves and I love the way they turned out. I think it just makes me so happy and it's so pretty and I like the faux plants and the faux flowers and like the, um, the beaded garland and my little home decor books that I have there that I've actually read. Um, they're not bad books, but, um, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I'm still looking for something to go on this mantle, although I'm kind of liking it bare. I don't like a lot of stuff that like sticks up in front of the TV. Um, so I just need something kind of simple and plain to lay over the mantle. Um, I might just throw my lamb's ear back up there. It's that time of year where lamb's ear uh, works. So I might just do that just to kind of fill in the space, but I don't know. I like it kind of bare too. So um, some of you had noticed that we brought the glider back into the living room. I was actually getting ready to get rid of it because we don't need it anymore. It was upstairs in the office, but um, I'm ready to like just let go of a lot of things that I've like kept, um, you know, past their their need in our household. Uh oh, Malcolm knocked over <laughs> my camera. Luckily, that was such a good save right there. I saved myself the misery and heartache of having to buy yet another camera i've last year i broke two cameras last year was hard <laughs> i broke two cameras last year and i just bought this one in the new year so i was like i can't lose this one too um but uh i'm i'm kind of wondering if a chair would work where the glider is um probably something that swivels so they could see the tv if they wanted they can turn back and you know, like have it as a conversation set. Um, now that the chair is there, like my son sits in it all the time. My oldest son sits in it all the time. And like I've sat there. It's It definitely gets used, um, but that chair is not staying. I wanted to find something in a different style, like a maybe like a navy blue rocking um, swivel, like accent chair, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm on the hunt as always. I'm always looking for something and putting down ideas and, and trying to um, just make our home the best it can be. Yeah. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows. If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't want to fight no more Cause I don't feel the need no more No, just want to make it stop 
it is hard to see, but this carpet is absolutely filthy. I wish I had had the time to give it a good carpet shampoo, maybe in the next video. But you can see there's a ton of crumbs. And before you come at me, we eat in our living room. We do. I mean, not eat, but we snack in our living room. And Malcolm always wants whatever I'm snacking on. So usually it's like um, Tostito chips or like those little Ritz cheese crackers um, or something. And he'll stand right there in front of us and just chew and get little crummies everywhere. So, um half of it's on him and half of it's on me and some of it's on sammy as well and you were my first one cheers to all the memories the venom and the remedies yeah promise i won't forget yeah maybe it's something in the water yeah. or maybe we just we hit the end of the road yeah. right now it doesn't even matter yeah. it's too late not to let And while I was busy in the living room, I had put all of the chairs and the seats up in the um, kitchen and was letting the Yidi do its thing. It usually runs um, like once a day in the kitchen just to try to help me keep up. Um, because yeah, I was focusing on other rooms of the house and I'm going old school with my mopping today. I have my O Cedar mop and in there I'm using, of course, hot water, some vinegar and just a dash of Mrs. Meyer, like old school, like what I used to all the time. And please forgive my door back there. I need to repaint it. Some of the paint started peeling and then I got crazy and just like really started peeling it off when I should have left it alone. Um, I think I need to use a different primer on it or something. Some of my doors peel and some of mine don't, even though I've used all the same primer in prep and sanded and did all the things, but some of my doors just aren't taken to the paint. I don't know what's going on. So I'm gonna have to reprime and repaint this door, but it just gets worse and worse <laughs> every video because I'll go by there and I'll like rub my hands over it. And then if a piece is lifting up, then I just peel it, which is such a bad idea because as soon as you walk into our kitchen, you look down the hallway, past the living room, and you can like see our bedroom door and it always looks like just a giant mess. The first thing I do before I even start in my powder room is lift the toilet seat up and throw some Zep toilet bowl cleaner in there to let it kind of marinate <laughs> and do what it needs to do. Um, I'm one of those weirdos that like can't stand a dirty toilet and I can't stand cleaning bathrooms and toilets in general. So if I can spend five minutes a day just like keeping a clean toilet instead of letting it sit and like get really gross and then have to really like 
scrub gross stuff like weekly or monthly or like whatever other people do um no i rather spend like less than five minutes just maintaining a clean toilet than have to worry about like just scrubbing a nasty one The weather has been absolutely bizarre. As you can see, Malcolm is all bundled up. Um, and then you'll see me in shorts and then you'll see us bundled up again. Like it's like, it's freezing one day and then it's sunny and nice out and you can get a suntan and then they'll trick you and it'll be cold and rainy and freezing again. That's just spring in Maryland for you. <laughs> but um, I actually bought this little eight foot trampoline um, for Malcolm for Christmas and it's really close to the ground that we don't have to really worry about him falling off um and you dig a little hole underneath like a two foot round like hole that it can sit under so it's not an in-ground trampoline but it's pretty darn close i'm very impressed with it um and he absolutely loves it he does gymnastics once a week and they have a bunch of trampolines and things like that um so the trampoline just is an extra bit of fun at home and I don't have to worry about him falling off. He really doesn't need a cage for something that's this, this close and we only make sure that it's like one at a time. It has a very light weight limit. So like none of my older kids or myself or, I mean, I sometimes get on there, but um, it's for like little ones, like under a hundred pounds. So we hadn't gotten a chance to actually dig the little hole underneath of it yet, but he's still so lightweight that he barely makes a dent in the springs. We will be, you know, finishing it off properly, um, but he absolutely loves it. And then another little project that we decided to do um, is install a little gate right here. That way we could go from our um, outdoor kitchen cabana straight to the garage. We have an ice machine in the garage, so it's just, it's a lot more handy. We, ha we store a lot of our party stuff in the garage as, as the, um, the big like shop garage. So I finally um, measured, <laughs> I mismeasured, I finally measured and bought a gate kit just because I figured it would just be easier to do that than try and figure out how to DIY one ourselves. Even though plenty of people, we, my husband DIY'd a gate um, in our last house and he did a great job, but we just don't have the mental capacity to do a lot of stuff anymore because of the baby. Um, so we took apart this fence and luckily they had a ton of like extra fence parts as well. So um, this didn't cost a ton. Um, just a four by four some concrete and a lot of elbow grease and of course malcolm was all up in it trying to help us out the whole time
listen to a sound The one that's coming from your mouth Don't mean to turn it upside down I really want to this is the first vinyl fence that we've ever owned. We installed a cute little wooden picket fence at our previous home. Um, I had intended to stain it white. Like I, I love a white picket fence. So um, when we moved to this house and we saw that this had a white picket fence around the back, I was just like, love it. I think it's so cute and like classic. Um, but this is our first time having a vinyl fence. Luckily, it's one that airflow, because we get a lot of wind, um, too, airflow can get through it. Um, so we haven't had any trouble with, like, our fence being blown over or anything, which I know can happen when you have those, like, solid, um, vinyl fence or solid, any, I guess, any kind of fence. But, um, the solid vinyl fence in our old neighborhood would fall over with a heavy like a heavy wind we would see fence just down everywhere so luckily this gets um airflow through it and it's been a really really good um thing to keep the dog in the yard and the baby in the yard it was tough having this um fence open right here because uh we had to wait for the concrete to dry this took like two days to finish and Malcolm just once he saw that opening <laughs> he wanted to go through it's really funny um having a high spirited um kid <laughs> he just gets like laser focused on what he wants to do and um so every time we went outside he would like head straight for this opening over here and want to get out and go in the back backyard or go down the driveway or go in the ditch or go where he's not supposed to be but he is just in it and I just love like these toddler years it's so fun um we're all exhausted but it's it's just it's just a fun time Give you more than half of me. Mm -hmm. If I could give you more than half of me, So we just did this old school where we just threw the bag of concrete in and put some water and mixed it up. I mean, you could pre-mix it and then dump it in, but you know, save a bucket and just throw it in there. It'll be fine. Um, it does a good job. This is how we did our old fence as well. Um, it holds up really, really well. And it's just, just easier and cleaner to do it this way <laughs> instead of just wasting a bucket and having to clean the bucket out. And then you waste some of the concrete that way. Just throw it in the hole, put some water on it, and it'll, it'll all be all right. It'll work itself out. I really want to hear you out. I can't know how it is to be where you so calmly sit when I'm further my own there is. Only part of it to just be to really see something other than just me.
we actually ended up using two bags of concrete let that dry um, and then now my husband's using some of that um, we have really sandy and clay soil here I don't know you know how it is where you're at but it's just it's it's like clay like literally you could do really good mud pies with this soil um <laughs> And so we're just filling it in with um, some of the soil that he had um, dug up. And then just for good measure, we put down some um, some extra play sand that we had just to kind of even the ground out. We are going to end up making a pathway eventually as well from the gate to the cabana just so it's all nice and neat. And um, it just looks a little bit better. Turn the thoughts to little ways. Space on either side of every single word I write. I found you in another line. Notice all the time it takes to just be. Give you more than half of me. Mm -hmm. If I could give you more than half of me, and next up was this a little teeny gate I measured wrong I got the right look at the gate but it's just kind of like it's a little mini gate but it's still cute it works um it swings open it swings closed so it works out in the end but my husband had to laugh when we put it all together and then we held it up against the fence it was like tiny and it didn't match obviously the other gates that we have um in size but it, it works and we're going to be so much happier being able to now freely go um, from one side of the fence to the other side of the fence without having to walk all the way around, especially for carrying like folding tables and coolers of ice and all that stuff. It's going to save us so much time and um, a whole lot less arguing. <laughs> Has their job nine to five and getting drained to settle for? Second best, scared to risk what the future might bring. What the future might bring. I hold my breath, waiting for someone to knock at my door. Thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed my indoor cleaning motivation and enjoy coming outside with us as we got a few little projects done finally got the trampoline together after four months of sitting and waiting for the ground not to be frozen um and then of course this little um fence gate looks so cute it just oh it turned out so good it's in the same similar um shape we are going to replace a little um top like spikes with ones to match the gate that we already have um and the fence um but i'm just so happy with it i think it looks so good thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that like button that subscribe button the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads and i will see you guys next time